All right, Israel. Brother Bud is out here early this morning with the Israelites, uh, teaching them how to form up, form walls. Um, it, it's a learning curve, but I mean, he's a, a good teacher. He's showing us uh, and showing the Israelites how to do it because the majority of the Israelites that are here are people who are already in a community homestead and, and they're gonna be moving to a community. And so these form walls is like a game changer for us because this takes away from the block li block land. Uh, and I, when I say take away from the block land, I don't mean nothing negative or derogatory in that fashion or form. What I'm saying is, you know, block land or concrete work is, is extremely hard work. It's extremely hard work. And um, hold this way we're going. It's extremely hard work. And um, with these form walls, these walls are going to be eight inches thick. Think about that. That's eight inches of solid concrete all the way around on the first level, first floor, which is gonna be um, 12 foot. The wall's gonna be 12 foot high. Um, that is a lot of concrete as well, but it's gonna have all these little uh, rebar stubs you see right here. That's what we're gonna build up more rebar. There's gonna be rebar continually throughout the whole entire wall in itself. So it's gonna be an extremely strong building. Uh, like with block walls, you know, they have a core in them and then you have to fill them up. And of course, we have to aerate it too to make sure it's temp good. But this is going to be an experience and it's going to be a game changer in the ministry because once we get the brethren to learn how to do the form walls and set up the form walls, no matter where we go, they can always come here, pick up the amount of walls that they need because we have them here. And babe, you can pan over there at our... Um, storage unit over there you can see a whole stack of them over there as well so we actually have enough form walls that we can actually do one two we can actually do three buildings we can so we can have some form walls in straightway kentucky east we can have some form walls in alabama we can have some form walls all over the place that's what we can do i'm probably gonna have to end up moving the vehicle brother scott's coming down here with the, the skip loader he must be getting something but um, it, it, it really is a game changer. Now, it does take time to set it up. As a matter of fact, about the amount of time that it takes to actually set up the walls is about the amount of time that it probably would take us to lay the block. So, I mean, you can pick, eat, and choose. But I know one thing, they're not making any concrete eating termites. So we're pretty good. So this wall, this building literally is going to last for an extraordinary long time. This building will be around easily over 200 years or until the king comes, one or the other. So it's gonna be in the communities and every place that we have on the lands in different places and communities. When we start building our buildings like this and pulling them up like this, it takes away a lot of the back labor of, of actually doing blocks and stuff. It's still hard work now, don't get me wrong, but we're gonna uh, get a pump truck out here and then pump them down, pump the concrete down in the cells. It's gonna be an aggregate. And um, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just like that. All I can say is it's just a really strong building. You see a lot of buildings. You see a lot of basements built out like this. Uh, also, we can build basements like this. There's so much you can do. We could have went four inches uh, wall on a thick. That's what the, a normal stick frame home would be, is four inches. Um, could have went six inches. Um, but I chose to go eight inches because we want a solid base, solid foundations. Uh, the weather has changed a lot in the, in the past years. Uh, the weather, there's a whole bunch of um, uh, winds and tornadoes and stuff like this. So whenever we build buildings around here, especially buildings we're going to be dwelling in, uh, we want to pay a place of refuge and a place of safety. So we want to make sure that our buildings are going to last like they do down there at the coastlines in Florida or in the Caribbean or in Mexico and the DR or Jamaica because they build all their homes out of concrete because they have a lot of wind. So if a tornado come through here, this building ain't going nowhere. Unlike in American homes that does a lot of stick frame building, the only thing that's left of the homes is the foundation. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a wisdom move as well. We thank the Father for it. So anyway, we can't get nothing done by sitting here making videos. I do, I'm glad to let y'all in on it, but we got to get moving. We got to get moving and get going. And I'll talk to y'all later. Shalom, shalom, shalom.